Hello, I am the Dark Master, and welcome back to my LEGO Reviews. This time I'll be reviewing set number 72001, Lance's Hover Jouster. It comes with three minifigures and 217 pieces. Let us start with the minifigures. Starting with the minifigures, going from left to right, there is the arachnoid Caesar, Cyberbiter Dennis, and the heroic Lance. Let's start with Caesar. Now, 2018 seemed to have been kind of a return to the whole spider legs build, first used in 2008's Lego Agents with Spyclops. Unlike both of those and the other one, which occurred in Ninjago, Caesar's legs use the Exoforce arms inverted and puts a blaster in the hull as opposed to a simple spike. Overall, a very unique take on this general build. Going up from that, his torso print is different from the previous tech infectors. He has an unarmored, Mostly bare midsection, minus a belt with a single eye and a little bit of chains on the top. His arms are similarly bland, with white arms and white hands. His armor, helmet, and face prints are all reused from Fred, and shares the same alternate face, which I think fits with the arachnid legs really well. The next villain is Cyberbiter Dennis. I've always loved this theme's Squire Bots, and the fact that we get a bad one for the final wave is nice. The basic design of Dennis here isn't too different from other Squire Bots with the same body piece, but th there are differences. Firstly, his feet use the classical skeletal feet in black. Just like the legacy skeletons or Skulkin, I find the original skeleton feet far too flimsy and easy to push over instead of the original feet. I don't know why they decided to get rid of this piece and hopefully they bring it back. It would be a real shame if they got rid of it permanently. The second change is more palpable for instead of a knight's emblem he has a trans pyramid piece in green which I can say is probably the most painful Lego piece to step on. Uh, yeah. The third major change is that the left hand of Dennis is replaced with a stud shooter that shoots a techno critter. This extends far to the front and sadly makes Dennis even more front heavy. You know, not helped by his tiny feet as I mentioned before. Not all the changes to this dude are bad though. The black hand and reused helmet are awesome, especially as I wanted that helmet. The saw is also average, perfectly good. The face is amazing, with both sides being rather creepy. One's reminiscent of a slasher smile, the other is more robotic. The third and final minifigure is Lance. Despite me possessing nearly as many Lances as I do Aaron's, for some reason I don't really hate him as much. Maybe it's just that he's better. The golden white works better than the golden green, and he uses the same armor as Aaron, but along with this, he also reuses the same face prints as in previous lances. He wields a dual-bladed lance and the Nexopower Lance of Murloc, but he can also wield the Diamond Spear. A third Nexopower is used by... Caesar Dynamite in his spiky shield along with his elongated green pike. Now it's time for us to go over the main build. This is Lance's Hover Jaster, and man, is it awkward looking. Firstly, it doesn't actually hover. 
No, duh. Rather, with a neat trick, they cover four free axis wheels that I think are new. I haven't seen this piece before. The base of the hover jouster is really well built, with excellent uses of slope pieces that help to cover the wheels. There's also the back, which holds the lance. This base connects to the upper half via a white Technic beam. This, combined with smooth tiles laid in the center, allows the turret to slide front and back. Speaking of the turret, the turret wields two mighty pikes that can be used to push over the enemies. It also has three cockpit pieces, two on the sides and one in front, which are in trans orange. The spring loaded missiles are also rather neat. It also has a front place that can hold the nexo power, as well as a back that can hold the shield. Overall, I, I really like this upper half. It's just a shame it's connected to such a weak base, in my opinion. So what are my thoughts on the set? Well, it took me over 100 sets, but here's one Lego set that I cannot recommend. It's honestly not worth buying, for it's clunky with weird functions and sub-average minifigures. I'd recommend saving your money and getting the Twin Fector instead, or any of the Nexo Knights sets. So, yeah. Basically, no, do not get this set. It's not worth it. Anyway, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more LEGO reviews. Have a nice day.